Welcome back to Inland Hood Fishing, everybody. So today I'm gonna to fish off the side of this highway, but not right up underneath this bridge. This is a slough right here that I'm standing next to. Looks pretty milky, muddy, muddy, milky, huh? That's because it rained really good yesterday. The window of opportunity I thought I was gonna have yesterday to fish just got rained out. So here we are today, we got plenty of bait. Now there's a creek that runs through this slough right here. It's right here in front of us. That's what we're gonna fish. It is a nice warm day. It's gonna get up, get up to almost 80 today. So we found a shady spot to fish in. There's some apprehension here though. <laughs> Let me show it to you. It's in the mud. Look at this. That's not just a massive game trail. I mean, it's all everywhere. Look down here. You see this where it's all torn up? That's from pigs and there's a lot of it here. So it's just after three right now. I'm gonna try and fish here before it turns into pig central. There's a lot of feral hogs in this area. And I don't really wanna be here when the feral hog highway starts, whew, starts cranking up. This is the water that I'm gonna fish. This is the creek right in front of us. It parallels this highway. Just down here, less than a mile, about maybe a half a mile, it dumps into the Sabine River. So as you can see right in front of me, I've got stumps. We're gonna do two different things here, but both our baits are gonna be cut bait. Here's our first line. There's really no current here, so we're gonna try a one ounce to start on a sinker slider right here. And then we've got a five octopus here, with a piece of bluegill on it. Over here, we're going to fish under a float for shoe pick and gar, possibly catfish, a little over a foot. And then we have a four aught we have a fillet style piece of cup bait to attract the, the uh, bow fin faster. Put the bottom rig out first right here in the middle in front of us. I've never fished this before, but I've been here. I'm gonna put this right out in front of me. Since I've never fished here before, this is gonna be a bit of trial and error as I figure it out. I have no idea if it's snaggy. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be bow fin here. The catfish that are here, bullhead, channel cat, could be blue cat because we're so close to the river. The Sabine River does have blue cat in it. But I think it's more likely that on this cut bait, because it is a little over 30 hours old, that we're more likely to get channel cat and bowfin today and gar possibly. Don't know how snaggy this is, but I would say that it is snaggy. I've already figured out a trial and error thing here. We've got the rods in the wrong place. We need to switch switch them. The bottom rod needs to be over here and the float over here. That's because we have a south wind today and it's working my float this way. And I think it, it'll just be better. And we need to put more depth underneath that cork as well because we saw both in out that way. Did the old switcheroo here. Might work out better in my favor, it might not. Now the float is real close to the stump. That may be bad that may be good that may present cover for the bowfin could find a fish right there what might be bad is when we fight the fish in he might want to run towards the bridge but it's good because we have mono today we have 30 pound mono these are my one of my two catfish rods they're cheap ones by berkeley berkeley fusion they're mediums they're they should work today just fine 30 pounds should be good too I've been here for about 30 minutes now and I'm already thinking about moving. Just not a lot of feeding activity. There's fish movement. I wanna try and look at something. Maybe that'll encourage a bite as I walk away. Considering this is my second spot, it's not far. We're right on top of a beaver dam. I know you can't see it, but you see this, these sticks floating in the water here? The beaver dam is under the water here. And right where we're at is their burrow. I think that hole right there is made by beavers. So we'd be fishing right on top of beavers. I don't think they'd like that very much, but it is open. The real question is, did that encourage a bite? Still got two rods over here. Still have a float where I put it. Ah, might just have to wait. I'm gonna try and do what I don't normally do when I'm fishing, sit down. Whoa. I look this way, look back this way, the float is gone. Have no idea where it went. Underwater, I would 
gas. Just like out of the blue. Tighten that drag down. Oh, maybe that was a gar. Let's go down here to Bucky's house real quick. We're gonna fish on top of his roof here. Bucky's house is kind of creepy. It's got danger signs and all kinds of bones everywhere. Look at this. There's one over here. I chose Bucky's house for a few reasons. The water seems a little deeper. We can keep our baits in shady spots. We have the float up against the uh, beaver's dam that is underneath the water, and it's shady right there. And we have our catfish line out here towards that stump, towards that tree coming out of the water over there because there's probably a bowl there. Might be snaggy, but it's a great place for a catfish to hang out, channel cat probably. It's tight in here, but I have a better chance I think we're getting a bite over here I had to watch see if it was the wind or not if something is plucking on that line it is not the wind this is the bottom line. The way this bite is accumulating, I'm going to just jump out there and say, gar. That's why I'm not overreacting. I'm just watching, you know, let it happen. We got us a fight on here. This might not be a gar. Oh, it's a nice bowfin. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. It's what we wanted to catch today. It's like we got a solid hookup. Got to be careful because we're not on solid ground. This is a beaver's burrow. I can feel the ground sinking as I move around here yeah you're right nice right not too big but good good out of chocolate milk I'm really happy about this pretty nice bow fan just about maybe three pounds three four pounds something like that I know they're pretty heavy for their size sometimes it's like they got rocks in their belly he's about three pounds nice I'm gonna let him go whoa whoa he went Oh, he went to Bucky's. Now I know it's going to be one of those days where it's going to look like a gar bite, but it might not be a gar bite. He was just out there kind of chewing on it, not being very aggressive until, until I set the hook and started reeling him in. If you've already been correcting me, I just realized, yeah, the term is lodge, right? Not burrow. We're right on top of seven o'clock and I really don't want to see what it looks like here at sunset when it gets dark. I don't want to be surrounded by feral hogs and I think a lot show up here. So 
pretty much a really slow day but that is to be expected after that kind of rain we had yesterday with this kind of water milky chocolate milky water but we still got a nice fish up here on the bank and i'll definitely come back here especially if they fix the uh, roof here at bucky's house because that sucker's caving in gotta be careful when you're walking there all right like share comment subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you next time